Hello. Hello. Welcome to the welcome back to the all skills tournament. Today we have slow and homothity. Oh shit. So homothity uh, has been a legend in this game for a long time. He's well known for innovating several randomizer. Uh, well, a lot of things to do with randomizer. I believe he's built logic for it. I believe he's the primary person behind Rando 3, but he, he's come up with many different skips, a few different plandos. He's well known for having a great mind for the game, and he was a top any percent runner, the first one to achieve a 33 minute time, I believe. Yeah. Um, and yeah. so I would like to, I would like to pose at least that Slow is probably the underdog in this. Amothity has pr gotten a few personal bests in his last two races. Um, a 5208 being the fastest one we have on record. He has not submitted that to SRC nor any other PB. So whether that's his current PB, it's hard to tell. But uh, Slow will have his work cut out to, for him with a 3230-ish time. Uh, as his personal best currently. Yeah, and you never know. Maybe there'll be an upset. Yep, I mean, the yeah, with, with times that are only, you know, theoretically, at least, 30 seconds or so apart, uh, that's really just one major mistake from Homothity, and all of a sudden this is Slow's race to take. I wouldn't really expect it. Uh, both of them have been racing fairly consistently, I believe. But uh, anything can happen. I think we're just getting a uh, timer test from Amothity here, making sure he has his load normalizer. You'd love to see it. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not actually sure. Maybe we should ask them if they're running with load normalizer, because that I, loads pretty fast. I just did. Amothity says yes. Amothity says yes, load normalizer. Okay. says yes, okay. Okay. Just making sure. There's been quite an issue with, through the race uh, with... Uh, not having load normalizer on, unfortunately. But uh, it seems both have it. Um, so if you would like to start the countdown, I think it's a good time. Or uh, ask the players if they're ready for a countdown. Slow's PB is on SRC. Uh, one second. Freak. A fifty-two twenty. All right. Hold on. Whenever you're ready. All right. Great. We have counted down our racers. We should be seeing their stream, or sorry, we should be seeing movement on the stream about 40 seconds from now. It's a bit of a delay, uh, seeing as both both of the. Uh, it has to go through both the Twitch delay for them, as well as the rebroadcast delay. Mm -hmm. But that shouldn't be an issue for commentary or anything. It's pretty normal, so... Indeed. Just waiting on that to start. Uh, we could talk a little bit about King's Pass movement. Uh, there's a little bit of RNG, a uh, single trick that saves about one second, and other than that, it's all movement. Yeah, there's the Vegfly Pogo, uh, and the Forest... Uh, soft drop, the not hard fall, 
uh, when the floor crumbles beneath you. Is about the only things I can really think of. Yep, I I don't expect either of them to be going for something silly like the RNG softball or anything. So we should see some times that are pretty close. Don't worry about any desync right at the beginning. Our speed gaming volunteers should be able to sync them up fairly soon. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, if both racers have um, the load normalizer, it won't get crazy desynced, unlike yep. previous races. But these two people are fairly competent, so I'm pretty sure everything will be okay. I mean, you'd be surprised how many competent people we've had mess up the yeah. <laughs> load normalizer and stuff. But I'm 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 ha ho having my hopes up. <laughs> yeah. So I believe the best possible time you can get coming out of King's Pass is a flat 50, right? Yeah, and uh, I wouldn't expect that in a race. That's something no. you get from from resetting over and over and over again, uh, <laughs> which you're not allowed to do in a race. So we have a 52 from Amathody and a 51 from Slow. So actually taking an early, early one second lead, and we did get the sync up from our speed gaming volunteer there. Very good Much sync appreciated. Up, by the way. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot to commentate in this part. Just hopping along during my. Oh, look at those jumps. Those are some well timed jumps. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, the real fun parts come in a little bit later. Right now, we're just working our way through Dirt Mouth, through Crossroads, until we get our first spell, uh, VS. Here we come to the Gruz drop, however. Let's count how many hits. One for Slow. One for Amathody as well. Slow actually manages to hard fall onto one of the platforms there mm -hmm. um, on the way down. So that's a little unfortunate. Very however, still not too far behind. Less than a second difference. This is always a fun one. Can the players get double spike? Oh, Hamathi going for an underplot approach. Misses and Slow gets it. Let's see. Wow, that's very even. <laughs> yeah, Hamathody's still very slightly ahead, but... Oh man, if the race can just keep up like this for the remainder, that that would just be fantastic. Be um, I, w I would personally expect that Hamathody has a very, very solid game all around. He has a lot of hours in this game. I wouldn't expect him to peter off. Uh, sometimes newer runners uh, tend to overfocus early games, so... Personally, I wouldn't be too surprised if we saw the same the same thing from Slow. A very, very strong early game and then falling behind a little bit later. But if Slow is able to keep up this pace throughout the race, we're looking to have a very good time. Yeah, I mean, I don't think... I think Slow is definitely one to be contended with. Sure, Hamothi might be a bit favored in this race, but I think we should definitely not underplay Slow at all. No, for sure. Uh, I believe the they are both in. Is this the three one or the two one bracket? Or sorry, three zero or two one bracket? I am not, not sure. <laughs> um. Okay, hold on, hold on. Homothity had to race Monster at some point. I'm pretty sure Monster's three run. Right. Is, surely, surely this is the two one bracket. Palm comes into the chat saying it is a two one, and I believe All it. Right. Yeah. All right, which is still a very commendable score. Mm -hmm. uh, let us see. Homothody's current PB. Ooh, a 52.33. However, I believe he did get a PB in a previous race that is unsubmitted or hasn't been approved yet. One of the two. Um... So on SRC, he does have a slower time than slow, but I believe he also has an unofficial quicker time. And let's see... 33-34, I think, for slow, and a 33-35, was that for Homothony? No, yeah. would have also been a 4. They're, yeah, they're 0.11 apart. That's insane. Beautiful. So, we'll see. What we would like to see coming up here is for the Balder to both give them equal spits. Whether that's 8 spits for both of them or 2 spits for both of them is pretty irrelevant. I just want to see and get the same amount of spits. It's unlikely to happen. Uh, yeah. But 
That's what we hope for. They and if there's an RNG so difference. In sync right now. Like, look at that. Yeah. That's insane. That adds to the good sync. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. It's like the same player almost. Yep, the early game, like I said, I expect most runners who have been running this game for more than a few months to have it down pat. Um, especially if they've done, uh, like, multiple categories, I would expect their early game oh. to be... Oh my goodness, Homophony. Yeah. So it looks like Slow got first spit, and I didn't actually get the count on how many... Seventh spit? That's rough. First spit for Slow, seventh spit for Homothity. That's gonna put Slow at quite a decent advantage, actually. I don't... I, I didn't think that was first spit from Slow. I could be wrong. That was 100% uh, first spit. Really? Okay. Yeah. I just... There should be a larger difference between them, surely. I think you're overestimating how many spits time. But it's about one second per spit. And they're... Yeah, they're about seven seconds, eight seconds apart. Okay. How about that? Eight seconds oh. behind because of pure RNG. You hate to see it. <laughs> uh, I missed if Slow got the first fireball skip. However, Homothity gets the first fireball skip pretty handily. I would have to assume Slow also got it, considering where he is now. Slow is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That he got it, of course. Yeah, okay. uh, so we'll just see. So we're seeing them gather soul. Um, Slow goes actually for a couple of forward slashes on that second. Enemy as Homothity goes for forward slashes on the third one. So a slight difference in soul collection here. Both of them end up with exactly six hits. Slow misses the birds there. Won't have exactly as much soul as he wants. Homothity misses them as well. Typically you want full soul here. Um, it's not a huge loss to, to miss out on one or two hits, but... Nice. Yeah, they're, yeah, both... Provided... they're both very equal on their soul. They both make the second skip as well. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I heard a dunk and I thought it was slow for a second, but it was just the Moss Charger. <laughs> and the third one... There's actually an odd desync in the audio between slow, or with slow. I, I don't know if that's something that can be fixed. Uh, and also, they both get the third fireball skip, of course. They're both amazing runners, to be expected. Mm -hmm. Do you think they'll go for the double fireball on the moss um, thing here? I, I would expect both of them to go for that, yeah. It's a pretty neat time save. Uh, Slow looked like jumped a little short. Homothity either doing the same thing or either um, mistiming. Some people believe it's slightly RNG uh, with the moss knight, but neither one of them get that extra fireball hit, so both of them have to use all of their soul, meaning they'll have to spend a little bit of time slowing down to collect soul here. It's not horrible, as one of the major time losses, I guess you could say, is slow doing that forward slash there, um, which is, yeah, yeah, not really a huge time loss. <laughs> um, in any case, they will both be going for these Moss Knights. Look like slow got the worst of the two RNG cycles, while well, Homothity gets the better. Maybe they both got the bad RNG. I'm already having quite a bit of trouble with that last Moss Knight, but... Slow, actually, on lower HP. I wouldn't expect 2 HP to result in a death on Hornet. Most runners are going to be familiar with this boss. Uh, yeah. To the point of not really being in danger of taking more than one hit. Yeah, it's quite easy. I mean, I, I shouldn't say easy, because a lot of people do struggle with uh, Hornet and speedruns. It's uh, easy to survive the fight. It's mm -hmm. uh, harder to do it optimally. Yeah. Um, there's strats where you go for double hits that can put you in a little bit riskier positions uh, if she does shorter jumps and stuff, but... Slow finishing the fight first. Homothity finishing just barely after. Homothity Ooh. has... Not quite caught up, but like almost caught up to Slow. A few seconds off here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, two seconds on quit out. That's crazy. About four. Yeah, 
Yeah, for a second. Anyway, now that they've got their cloak, we're gonna head down into Fungal Wastes. Some interesting movement here, uh, having to do the drop, and a couple of interesting skips that are fun to observe. Uh, but for the first little bit, we'll just be observing their movement, uh, avoiding acid dunks and grabbing soul where they can. Yep, only one, or, or sorry, only two fireballs should really be needed on this split. One to collect some geo in the e-pogo room, and another one to kill the mantis in the mantis pogo room. Yeah. Uh, the geo collection here... Uh, just something that only all skills does, I believe. All skills is the only category that does not visit Lem. The only main category that does not visit Lem. So the Geo collection in this route is pretty important. Some people feel it's rather tight. Some people feel it's loose. Uh, and I think the difference of opinion is sheerly based off of uh, whether or not you find the Geo collection from enemies uh, to be relatively consistent or whether uh, people tend to go for some less consistent strats. Yeah, well, our, our, one of our chat members, Emre, pointing out that they are very close on the Geo numbers here. Uh, Homothody in Green Path ha was four Geo ahead, um, but it looks like it's not making a difference. A slow, I think, actually having a little bit of difficulty taking one damage there. Probably due to the load normalizer messing with the cycles. I do know that the Lord load normalizer does indeed mess with those cycles. First you try, get the first try for the both of them. Very well done. Yep, would be expected for them. But uh, mm -hmm. it looked like Slow was a little low there. I was a little scared for him, but he, he yeah. didn't manage to get it. Managed to sneak up on the platform. Luckily. Ooh. Oh man. Just holding left a little too early, trying, or either that or missing his dash input. That does put Homothody in the lead by a few seconds. Yeah. Uh, however, it was a very good recovery by Slow. Ben yeah. Ben up on the second try. Yeah, saving himself the trip of going around is very, very solid time save compared to yeah, what he would have to do if he missed that pogo again. So now the lead is four seconds in Homothody's favor. Thank wow. you again to Rixian. Yeah, um, right. And honestly, in a, in a race where their PVs are uh, ostensibly 20 seconds apart, these four seconds could end up mattering. So, mm -hmm. and Yeah, absolutely. Here we're going to go over to Grezmother. We need to collect a bit of soul on our way, smacking a few bugs to collect it. Um, if they don't grab enough, they'll have to kill the beloved Jennifer. Uh, let's see if anyone would have to do that here. Looks like Kamothody already has four hits. I think he must have pogo to Vengefly twice somewhere. I didn't actually see where he got that. Don't, um, so that it looks like he's already guaranteed the Jennifer is spared. Yeah, he has five hits yeah. here. Only needs to go for one Jennifer hit. Oh, wild. Nice. And only two from slow. Excellent. Wild. Indeed. And there's a quick kill for Grezmother. I am certain both these runners are going to be able to execute very well. Homothity kills it before the first attack, even. Slow is a little bit slower. Not by a whole lot, though. It's still very commendable. Very quick. Jennifer is that little jumping... Uh, the jumping husk on the way to Grezmother. The last husk you'll see. They just use her to collect some extra soul, and if they're missing a hit, they will have to go for three hits, which will kill her. Um, Hamadity got a very clean cleanup, I believe. Slow, getting mm -hmm. a slightly slower one. Only missing one with the two fireballs, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, there's a... There's a trick to get some extra geo, uh, to dash along the top of the, uh, of the arena. Sometimes if you kill the Grez Mother while she's too high in the arena, uh, yeah, her Geo will get stuck in the ceiling. It will? But if you dash alongside the top, yep. That's but crazy. if you dash along the top, you can collect four. I'm right pointing out, or you can collect most of whatever is left up there. If you get very, very unlucky, it will be uncollectible, but the moth that he managed to pick up four, according to Emre. That is crazy. Definitely want 50 Geo there, so if you ever notice you're missing, uh, you're missing, you're under 50 Geo there, it's probably in the ceiling. Okay. 
Yeah, and uh, Hamas and Inslow, both very professionally executed. Shade skips the intentional death alone to climb up to the ledge there to get to the blue lake, and uh, as well as uh, the right side of City of Tears, which is where they need to go to get there. Um, I, I guess first non any percent abilities. <laughs> Coming down here, you're going to see the racers grab a bit of Geo along the way, uh, killing the few husks that are along. Just scrape up just enough to be able to purchase Dash Lash, as well as with the help of Gorgeous Husk. 420 boy, as some people like to call him. Oh, that's really unlucky from Homothody that the, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that the largest husk which gives the most Geo was to his right there. and. I, I believe some runners would opt to kill it anyway, just because it's a pretty important geo. But I think he might, he he might he, he probably has his geo calculations down. Pat knows that he doesn't quite need it to make it through. But yeah, I was going to say while I was muted um, that they are going to the gorgeous husk, and it's interesting to see in this route that they they go directly towards this gorgeous husk. Oh no, oh, no. Homothody! Yeah, Homothody taking a small fall there will lose him significant amount of seconds here that's always so sad when that happens yeah, yeah just... that does in fact put slow back into the lead here which just goes to show any little mistake will just give the other player such a big advantage yeah slow getting all but one geo here without too much trouble same for homothity homothity is a little bit behind but both of them will be above that 704 geo uh comfy number require I means only two rows of hoppers will be required you definitely don't want to be having to kill any extra aspids or hoppers mm -hmm. but slow with a almost looks like a 20 geo lead oh, about, oh, about 18 geo ahead means that he might have a much faster um king station uh split which will be when they're exiting city of tears both of them should have enough geo for this split but the Geo is really relevant until they need the 300 Geo to exit the city. So, yeah. with Slow being a little bit ahead, provided he collects all of this Hopper Geo, um, he will he will have some future time save in addition to what he already has. Very clean cycles with the Hoppers from Slow, uh, as well as Homothody. Yep, there's a few different strats. Homothody just went for the under slash. I didn't quite see what strat Slow went for. Just saw that he was able to get through him. And yeah, 830 Geo. He will still maintain that 20 Geo lead. So, yeah, probably going means... to be able to skip a few husks on the way out. It's actually quite impressive how much Geo he's collected. I, I don't yeah, assume that's a very fun. regular thing for Slow. I, I... Somehow doubt it can be with how fast he's going, not going out of his way to collect extra geo. Yeah, I mean he got good RNG on the uh, on the last row of the first room of city, that right. that final row in the elevator rooms. But they all lined up for a single fireball, which is what you love to see. So yeah. I would attribute most of that to that. That's only about ten geo though, isn't it? Fifty maybe at most. I mean he only he only has twenty extra, so. Yeah, that's fair. That is fair. Maybe a bit of extra luck with the uh, moss chargers or something is what did the rest. Yeah, perhaps. Um, in any case, this is what I was saying about the route being interesting, is that they start making their way to their next objective in the Soul Sanctum, but they actually end up turning around just because that dash lash skill is so important. Or not turning around, but quitting out and going backwards, so to speak. Uh, because they need that dash lash skill... To do these lever skips, um, higher level runners will tend to use dash last also to activate levers, elevators from farther away, even though they don't need to do any lever skips. The first lever skip will be the one leading to this dark room here, not requiring dash last, just a quick up slash and slow misses it, falling back down, taking extra damage. He might go for this bench. Oh, he does not. Going into Soul Sanctum on 3 HP and 6 Soul. While Homothity will be going in, 
with now it looks like a lead on the timer as well as more hp one second lead insane this race is so close yeah very back and forth it's just been one or two mistakes from each runner leading to a, a difference in who's in the lead like, and now I, what i would like to see is does slow it does slow play for time and try to go for uh you know just these quick movements quick kills or does he try to slow it down maybe spend a little extra soul on this guy and yeah he does go for two fireballs there which does mean that uh he does risk being at a lower soul for the soul warrior fight and not being able to kill it as quickly if he gets the quick kill on it it won't matter but homothity definitely having a little more wiggle room with that extra soul absolutely uh yeah homothity almost full slow took a heal so he's yeah that means he's guaranteed to get a slower fight now yeah i don't know if he's got a backup strat or something but homothity should be saving a few more seconds with the soul warrior fight than slow is Yep. Just that that one hit of extra damage, he's not comfortable going into the Soul Sanctum on 3 HP, which is understandable. It's a heavily RNG area. Personally, I like to save the Soul um, and maybe go for a kill on one of the more RNG enemies in a later room. But slow, knowing just knowing how rough this area can be, not wanting to die here in a race, I fully understand. That was actually a really interesting strat from Slow, getting the uh, soul vial from underneath instead of stopping the elevator to go for it. Yeah, actually I've not seen that. Um, and I didn't see it this time either, I was focused on Homothity's <laughs> a warrior fight, which was good. As well as Slow's not losing as much time as I would have expected, probably, yeah. as he grabbed that soul jar. This is the enemy that I expected him to have to fireball, does have to fireball him. But he's coming in on low soul. It looks like the quick kill will not be available to slow slow on the soul master, which is uh, potentially 20 seconds or so of potential time save just out the window. Try um, to go for a uh, last minute nail hit on the soul twister. Unfortunately, doesn't get it though. Yeah, he goes for that soul vial to be able to try to pull it off. Yeah, and he'll be able to, he'll still be able to go for that initial burst of damage that I believe Homothity got most of. Definitely got at least two Shade Soul hits. Oh. We'll see if Slow can get three. Still an incredibly fast. Oh no. Oh. He got the worst RNG that you can get there. There's nothing to be done about that. This is why this area can be so upsetting to uh, newer runners, older runners alike. It's just, it seems like no matter what you do in Soul Sanctum, no matter how well you play, you can just get screwed over by the RNG. So, even if so Slow had come in here with full soul and full HP, wouldn't have made a huge difference here. Yep. And now he's gonna try to collect soul and get a double hit on it, and it's not happening. He's having a very rough fight, choosing to heal again, not wanting to die here. Yeah, I mean, it's slower to die than it is to heal, right? So. Yeah. However, Homothity being a full Soul Master phase ahead of Slow here mm -hmm. is going to be a huge boon to him. Um, we'll see if he starts pulling off riskier or less consistent strats, maybe a Pog Axe uh, here and there. Um, if Homothity's watching the race, he should consider this lead somewhat significant. Oh, Again, any, any death or uh, a death, maybe a really slow Hornet fight. Uh, Hornet fights tend to slow down when you get to low HP. Oh, slow could, could the bring mods. slow back. Yeah. He, he he's angry, understandably so. It, it it is just frustrating to lose massive amounts of time to just poor RNG, but he'll survive and make it through that fight, which is important. Credit to him. Mm. On the uh, credit to him on maintaining that. Uh, on maintaining his composure and not dying. <laughs> Making sure that he healed up when he didn't feel safe. Those heals coming in handy. He did fall to one HP, so Yeah. If he if he if he had if he hadn't healed somewhere in that split, could have definitely been a death there. Yeah, for sure. Ooh. Ooh. Homothity gets hit by the elevator spikes, unfortunate. Yeah, and just small movements like this showing that you don't want to be on one HP leaving Soul Sanctum either. Oh yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> these elevators all have spikes on them. There's a few follies and mistakes that can get in your way. Of those being the names of those blob creatures uh, throughout the Soul Sanctum. Will we, we will be seeing Homothity Shade Soul some enemies here. So, slow, as we mentioned before, still maintaining that Geo lead. Won't need to Shade Soul any enemies on the way out. I would like to see him hold that soul and not shade soul anyone and try to just n not collect any extra soul for the dive. We'll, we'll see. He does go and save that grub on the way out of Soul Sanctum. <laughs> Misses the match. Yeah, I guess uh, he's pretty certain this won't PB, so I guess he's going to go out of the way for uh, some grubs. Yeah, rough Soul Master fight. Um, un uncertain where his time save would be, but with- oh, yeah, he does try Ooh. not shade souling. Ooh. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe he should have just shade sold them for safety. No, I think oh. that's fine. Because now he's got enough soul to carry him through the D-dive here and into Sea Peaks without having to go out of his way to farm anything. That's true. Um, and he's got more than enough Geo to be able to get King Station. I think that was the correct decision. Okay, so... We will be seeing him do... Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, that, that husk is, is always in, uh, very frequently in the way. He, he knew to expect it, but wow. I wasn't quite sure. That was unfortunate. Yeah, personally, if you ask me, he should have started that dive a little farther to the right to guarantee that he got one of the husks on the right there. Uh, to dive on the left would be more... would be more common if he was shorter on Geo, but either way, he had enough soul. And he mm -hmm. collects enough soul for a fireball again on the way out, so... Yeah. Ooh, and he gets that. Oh, mm -hmm. He gets it. Rough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Any time save he got from that definitely mitigated. That was a... People call that the Photoshop jump. It's a difficult jump to get, unless you've practiced it quite a bit. And even then, not fully consistent for most, most players. Mm -hmm. um, I believe we'll see him heal here, yeah, right after hitting that bell. So, <laughs> although he gets this nifty trick that saves point two. I think the heal there and the slight fall of the movement will make up for that entirely. But in the meantime, we do see Hamathity going, making his way towards Crystal Peaks. Uh, he'll be entering with one hit of with one spell or two spells worth of soul. Mm -hmm. He'll be able to dive here. And, I love by my love. <laughs> meaning he'll be able to dive here. Oh, slow taking a fall on crossroads. Not very importantly, deciding to avoid damage. Uh, taking damage on the split is very frustrating. It's why you see slow opting to heal up on his way to this split because you don't get a you don't get a good opportunity to heal um, through for about the next five minutes on the way to collecting crystal heart on the way to collecting D Dark. There's plenty of places you can take damage. Some oh, of them intentional oh. damage tanks. Yeah, I'm often getting the faster version of Pog X with no dash involved whatsoever. That looked super slick. Yep. That is what you want to see from an experienced runner. I wonder if he'll be getting a god pixel. Uh, looks like he's Ooh. going. Ooh. Definitely get god pixel. You're able to avoid damage there if you just sneak in between the hitbox of the laser and the crawled. It is not lined up perfectly there so if you lined yourself up the right way it's an entirely skill-based trick to just yeet yourself right through that laser very beautifully executed uh and slow not going for the pog axe yeah definitely you can tell right from the start if he's going to the left side there opting not to do it homothity demonstrating just how much damage you can take accidentally already taken two there would be a, a damage tank that is optimal here, but I doubt he will go for it. It would probably mean... Well, it really just depends on how comfortable yeah. he is with the dark room. Oh yeah, he's going for the damage cycle. Definitely. Yep. Okay, so he's confident in his crystal peaks. I doubt we'll see him heal there if that's the case. I don't think that damage tanking saves time if you choose to heal later. So, we'll be seeing yeah. him do the dark room and D-Dark split on 2 HP. So he's get, looking to go through this entire next section. It Under looks... plot, let's go. Uh, yeah, and I'm fairly confident he'll be able to. Homothity is a very, very competent runner. Uh, and we're going to see Slow come up and do the exact same thing from before. Ooh, unfortunate hard fall. Uh, hits the lever. 
Oh, well, that he did go for the underplat chat going for woos. Sira indicating, I think, that Slow went for God Cycle and got it. No, that, um, was, uh, that was for Homophony. No, Homophony got God Pixel. God Cycle's different. No, she said God Cycle for... Oh, Homophony. really? Oh, okay. Yeah, I promise you, I saw that come up after Homophony. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, God, anyway. God Cycle are slightly different. God Cycle is arriving at the... Uh, is arriving at the crystal crawled before it gets its laser shot off, which is RNG, by the way. You can, it is possible to arrive there on the right timing and just get bad luck with it. But yeah, slow goes for underplat as well. Homothity goes for a clean darkroom. He does heal somewhere. Uh, oh, I, you know, I bet he healed uh, while he was saving the grub, and I missed that. Yeah. A good place to heal. Loses barely any time, if any at all. But I, I would say that's a wise heal. You can get double hit in a few places, including that dark room that he passed through so easily, and including this room right here. And a double hit on 2 HP would lead to an instant death, not something you want. I believe there is also a way to get triple hit here. Like taking oh, sure. yeah, damage sure. and then dunking and then taking another damage because the iframes don't reset or something. Uh, yeah, the, the Crystal Crawled can't, or not Crystal Crawler, Crystal Hunter can shoot a, a a bit of a crystal at the place where you spawn and you mm. don't have time to react before your iframes run out um but homothity avoids all kinds of shenanigans like that slow has made it through the split extremely cleanly uh mm. after that initial damage in the city um it doesn't look like he took any additional damage throughout either, either this entire split um i guess that would mean he also didn't do the damage tank though um in the crystal heart room yeah slow cycle unless he healed he but tried to go to pogo those spikes there slightly faster strat definitely a little risky as he demonstrates mm -hmm. oh no and now this hunter is just okay. aggro yeah so we didn't explain it for homothity but we're gonna hit this crystal seven times dash over and clear the way then we're gonna charge up a dash slash and hit it the eighth time, and that animation is gonna continue and slide us over to hitting these spikes spawn us here, and then we can just fly out while the game's getting us our D dark early control, and we don't have to wait those precious seconds for the game to give us the ability. And now Homothity will be collecting one of the necessary skills, or uh, I'm not sure it's a skill. It's definitely a tool at at the very least. Of, of the game, the Dream Nail. He goes for that Dream Plat, Under Plat there. Slick movement. I believe optimally you just, you you would, uh, you would not go for a, it's not a hard fall. You, you kind of slam into the wall. Optimally you stop your C dash before you hit that platform, but mm -hmm. either way, getting that Under Plat will save a little bit of time. We'll see if Slow goes for it, but this Dream Nail is required to slay the Dreamers which is required to access the final boss. The first of which, Homothity, will be approaching the corpse back to the bench in the Watcher's Spire and heads up to fight the Watcher Knights, which guard our first Dreamer. Slow giving us a few more nods. <laughs> I actually... I didn't see Slow fall off the platform, did he? No, did he, he did. Oh. Yeah, he did, he did the Descending Dark version, oh. which was quite quicker than uh, inventory and dropping off. But yeah. yeah, if you have a little bit of extra soul, you can actually mm. do a D-dive. Bit of an early release on the Sea Heart from Homothity there. Maybe yeah, that. A few seconds. But elevator hitbox. It's, it's just a little bit sus. If you start <laughs> that C dash, just two pixels too short. You just get slammed into a floor that you can barely see. Goes for a dream nail right before the fight, which is standard. And a third dream nail there. Should be able to kill this knight, which is whoa. Okay. So, hmm. showing off a Shade Soul strat there, going for two Shade Souls. I'm not sure if that was quicker. He might have actually missed some damage on the first D-Dark. I think one Shade Soul was supposed to finish them off there. Hmm. Either way, yeah. he reacted to that fairly quickly. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, he's trying to lure them towards each other here. Yeah, good. Get them right lined up. Oh, very good RNG on that last yeah. one there. Yeah, Actually, they, you want to see them. You want to see them line up like that. Uh, they can line up a little quicker if the fir if the one on the right rolls to the left, but mm -hmm. he does manage to manipulate them into a good position. Uh, he definitely had good RNG on the second set of Watcher Knights 
they stayed right next to each other until they died. You want them to stack up like that so that both, the, so that every cast of the Deed Arc does full damage to both. And yeah, slow showing off the the thing that Homothity was trying to go for. Two Deed Arcs, a Nail Hit, and a Shade Soul should finish them off. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I I have to assume that Homothity missed one of those Nail Hits. And now they line up for him after rolling away. Good, pretty yeah. good. Oh, you really thought that that Shade Soul would finish him off? Oh, oh, one Nail Hit away. It should have finished him off too. Yeah. yeah, Slow, unfortunately, does not get as good of RNG as Homothity did. However, oh. Yeah, they're bouncing like absolute maniacs. And yeah. now he's thinking a little bit. Shouldn't be in too much danger. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. He's finished them off quite nicely. Unfortunate. Seems Homothity has had, like, some of the best RNG in his race, while Slow is getting some of the worst. Um, I mean, he started with a 7 spit Alder, right? Oh, that's fair. I forgot about that part. <laughs> Which, I mean, to be fair, is only a six-second time loss. I'm not apt enough uh, at the Watcher Knight fight to tell just how much different RNG cycles will save or lose on that fight. Um, it, it's usually not too much, considering how quickly each set die, but mm -hmm. um, Slow, Slow definitely reacted to the bad RNG very well, I would, sure. I would say. Making sure he does Shade Souls when the Watcher Knights are split up. Uh, he does here... go for Death Flash on the Dreamer. Slightly faster. Didn't see if Homothity goes for that. Uh, Homothity will be coming up to the Ismus tier skips, which is a set of three skips, a tunnel, um, what is it? Spike tunnel, and two acid skips. Uh, they can be fairly difficult to execute, even for experienced runners. It's a fairly precise set of movements, but let's see how well Homothity will be able to execute. I would like to mention, by the way, that Homophody has been saving time on just about every split. Uh, for the last three splits, saving exactly eight seconds against Slow's run currently, so... He's now over a minute ahead. Yeah. Um, which, uh, as I said at the beginning, is something I might expect. A lot of runners who have... I know that Slow has run multiple categories, so his early game is... Uh, his early game, the early game of this game is pretty consistent across every category. So, mm. actually, we should, we should, I should be talking about this, uh, warm skip. This Slow guy, thing. first try, every skip. Very well executed. Did the setup on the last acid skip and got the warm to fly over and hit him, giving him early control so he can dash out of the room just a few seconds earlier than normal. Very well done. Did mean to say Homothity there, but uh, did, did we'll, be seeing, we'll be we'll be seeing Slow do the same thing very soon. Homothity is going to be crossing the RNG bridge while Slow starts this skip. Oof. Does take one damage initially. He's nailing a little bit too early, it seems. There, there we is. go. Third try is very much fine. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, he does have to worry a little bit about HP here. He will be leaving. It, it, it's fine, but it's definitely a significant time loss, bo both in failing that first trick, and it means he'll probably... <sighs> yeah, I was going to say, even if he gets all of these tricks perfectly, if he does the warp early control, he's going to want to heal afterward, but now he's mm -hmm. used that soul already. I wouldn't be surprised to see him skip the warp uh, time save, and because I, I wouldn't want to leave here on 1 HP, but it yeah. looks like he does. No, I think I think the time save is worth it. You can heal uh, pretty easily. Ah, Doesn't look like the worm's coming anyway, though. Yeah, the worm not quite cooperating. He might have also he might have hit the worm with his C dash and knocked it backwards there. Mm, it's possible. Um, yeah. Um, in the meantime, Homothity will be going through these Molochs, trying to take as little hits as possible. Avoid, he's avoided every single potential hit so far, uh, dealing with dealing with a Moloch that's usually a guaranteed hit in a swift fashion, just pausing his C-dash and dashing over calmly. Hitless Moloch room, you love to see it. I would expect a Basin skip here, and Mothody is a man of spice. Here we go. Oh, one missed. Oh, second miss. That will mean that he doesn't save any time with that, but he won't lose much either. Um, but that's, that's a neat little skip there. The geometry of that place is surprisingly difficult to navigate. 
Uh, it, it, you can go around there and only lose a couple of seconds, and a lot of runners will go for it, but Homothity's a very spicy runner. I yeah, will it, note... It's a little hot there. Uh, for his Shade Souls, that's interesting. I will note that Homothity got through the Broken Bridge uh, without having to cancel while Slow did. Uh, this is a very clean fight from Homothity. Yeah, that was so quick. Yep, getting the starting off that fight with the two Shade Souls and optimal timing means 160 damage to start the fight out. And uh, then he goes right into that headbang attack, which is HP based, and just allows Homothity to dive to chain dive after dive on top. I see would slow skipping the first Mauler kit as well. Very good. I would not be surprised if that was a gold for Hermothity, these wings. That um, was an incredibly clean split. And I know he, he missed the base and skip twice, so Oh I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that part. Yeah. It was it was very clean. Um the base and skip wouldn't lose him much time, but it would definitely I, I would expect him to have a gold that includes a first try there. Yeah. It's that's definitely fair. possible for top runners. Slow does not try for the base and skip, understandable. Trick isn't exactly worth it if you're not competent or comfortable with it. Competent is not the right word. Yeah. Um, it's barely worth it even if you are very good at it. Mm -hmm. Just because it's just a slight mistake in the movement. Good, he gets the good timing on that first Shade Soul. Meaning he will get both Shade Souls. If you get the first one, the second one's guaranteed, uh, provided you know how to press buttons, which Slow has definitely demonstrated he has the ability for. Pretty much getting an identical <laughs> fight to Homothity here. Yeah, fairly similar. Yeah, and yeah. that was actually about the same amount of time. Mm -hmm. uh, Homothity is now coming up to what many consider to be the toughest part of the game, Hornet 2. Uh, the the blocks the parries that can block your spells and hit you back are uh quite annoying to many players especially uh, with what uh little tools we have but i would I'm like to sure point out. is practiced enough to be able to handle it very well i would like to point out that valley who is a top runner of this category has declared that homothity is actually on a uh, low 51 pace um, which means we could be seeing a PB from Amothity here. Mm -hmm. A lot of this time loss outside of the Soul Sanctum, I would say. That, oh no! That was <laughs> unlucky. Yeah, Amothity going for a, a swag strat there. Just, ugh. Yeah, it got clipped just barely by that Asphod. Unlucky. Do, does not take the camp bench, and I don't believe he took the basin bench either, or the, uh, the station bench. Yeah, I would, I would, I would, I would definitely expect that from Amothity, especially on such good pace. Wouldn't be mm -hmm. wanting to be. I mean, a death would definitely take him off, not only a good pace, but uh, no, actually, if he went for the camp bench, slow still might be behind even with a death from Amothity. Mm -hmm. But if he took, if he took the King Station bench, like that still wouldn't save him from losing the lead. I think. No, definitely not. Good decision, I would say, to not take either one, either one in this race. Hmm. I mean, depends if he dies or not, right? Uh, yeah, but I mean, I don't think he'd be happy with a death in a race. His, yeah, his, his, all of his other races have been quite clean. He's uh, so aside clean. from maybe his first. Yeah, that was such Eric. a clean one or two fight. Yeah, Insane. so many double hits, so many D darks. Uh, landing full damage. Exactly what you want to see from that fight. And yeah, he went in on 4 HP and leaves on 3, so only took 1 damage as well. Um, going in on 4 HP there could be pretty spooky. Hornet can... She, she can't really combo you because of iframes, but... With how fast her attacks come, it, it, you can blink and you'll be missing 3. <laughs> <laughs> so, good on him. Make that a very fast fight. Yeah, definitely. Uh, will he go invisible? Of course not. <laughs> Only be a five second penalty if he did. At this stage of the tournament, I doubt we really have to worry about it. I think most runners are aware of that rule and how to avoid <laughs> triggering it. Yes, it's just funny. Yeah. The, the amount of uh, trickery that's been done with uh, the early control there has been quite hilarious in my opinion. Uh, but Slow is also fighting Hornet too now, taking two hits so far, about halfway through the fight, if, I think. Yeah, and so far, none of his Shade Souls have, have done the double hit. Mm. Uh, 
the way to get double hits in this fight, yeah, I would have gone for a D Dark there. He's going for a relatively safe fight, perhaps now realizing uh, already being on 3 HP, a little off of his rhythm. D does start pulling out the D Darks now, those full damage D Darks being technically optimal damage. Um, also contributing, I think, up to three hits towards her next stagger. But uh, now he's getting the double hits that you want to see. I'm there almost certain. All of those later shade souls. Lovely. <laughs> now we're coming up to a fairly movement uh, based part of the run. Uh, going up to get Cyclone Slash. There's not a whole lot of interesting movement tech. We're just gonna make our way there and yeah. Yeah, outside of those first three Shade Souls, I would say that, and, and maybe uh, the build up to the next, I would say that was quite a clean fight. Mm -hmm. Sorry, interrupt. No, um, well, whatever. Slow, very uh, good one or two fight even still. I cannot tell if Hamathori just got C dash glitch or if that would be a, something normal. He tried to see dash while that Crawlid was approaching him. I can't tell if, like, the game just decided it hit him as he released, or if he got the sea dash glitch where it should have killed that Crawlid, but simply did not due to physics frames not lining up with the game frames or something similar. It looks that. like the sea dash went through to me. Maybe I'm... I mean, the sea dash started. That's what killed the Crawlid. I just don't know if... It was, so, according to Emray, she believes it was a, a, a trade where he, he got the C-dash damage as the crawl had hit him. I see. So, not, not a glitch. But e either way, it would have been a relatively minor time loss. Yeah, Just okay. something I like to keep track of. It's one of the most unlucky things that can happen in a run. Is just C-dash decides to not kill the enemy. So. Yeah. Unfortunately... Uh, Homothity does have quite a sizable lead at this point. Slow just uh, bleeding a bit of time here and there, and it's all adding up. Um, and Homothity just doesn't seem to be making any more mistakes that are allowing Slow to be able to catch up either. Doesn't, interestingly enough, didn't see Homothity go for that Cyclone Slash for the early control. Doesn't mm -hmm. save too much time, but... I, I don't know if that was a conscious decision, as in he, he, he knows the strap but doesn't care for it, or if he just hasn't bothered to learn it. A lot of the runners who have been in the scene for a long time, not picking up on some of these uh, newer innovations, but uh, not quite sure. I'm slow failing a seed ice there, but yeah, rough. not too much detriment. A bit going to lose about the same amount of time that Homothity did. One thing I'm always interested in is the drops here that Homothe is doing. He's gonna go for a quicker drop. Nice. Oh, very clean. There, it doesn't save a whole lot of time, but not doing the inventory drops and weaving your way through always just looks so nice. Mm -hmm. And we'll be headed to the Umu fight. I would expect a one cycle from both these runners. Uh, the one cycle being somewhat difficult to get if you don't know the consistent strat properly but unlike any percent does have very consistent backups even if umu does have an extra attack in it so um not too much rng in this just need to make sure that they lure him properly to the wall push him out of bounds and get all these shade soul double hits as well as four nail hits mm -hmm. uh to finish umu off in one cycle And then after this, I don't think Umu's gonna go for a fourth attack. Yeah, you can tell by the distance that Umu travels whether he will go for an extra or not. Does get that first double hit. One, two, three. Fourth nail hit pushes him out of bounds, and yes. Yeah. Every shade soul that needs to double hit, double hits. Perfect. Um, slow. It took two hits of damage in that Grez room. Wumi need, needs to be a little bit more careful on this drop. Yeah, textbook yeah, one, definitely. Cycle, sure. But, um... We'll need to be a little more careful on this drop if he takes another hit of damage. Honestly, if he's confident with the one cycle, taking damage shouldn't matter at all. Ooh. Um, because you typically do not take damage to, uh, getting the one cycle properly. Looks like Slow mm -hmm. and Amoth that he had slightly different versions of their own drops. I'm not sure if one is quicker than the other, but... Slow did unfortunately take that one hard fall, which made it slower. 
Yeah. And hopefully slow we'll be able to get the ones that go just like I'm off that in. Yeah, and he doesn't take any additional damage, doesn't feel tempted to go to the bench. Mm. Even on 2 HP, I reckon he would avoid that bench. Trying to save as much time as he can uh, to catch up here, I reckon. Uh, whether or not he's watching the stream, I feel like he, he could definitely assume he was behind. Does go for a heal there, but it's, yeah, it's not, not my favorite strategy to heal, but right before Umu. It does lead to him getting hit right away anyway. I mean, I think the heal is fine. I think he's just a bit late on the uh, dream mail. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's possible. Yeah, it does take an additional damage there to make sure he gets up here quickly. I believe that's the fast. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. A little early. Yeah, this is not going to one cycle at all. Yeah, they didn't double. Ugh. Oh, oh no. no. An unfortunate death from Slow. He's going to respawn back up at Dirt Mouth. He's going to have to traverse. The whole way back down. That is some unfortunate happenstance. I'll take responsibility for that one on the commentator curse. Uh, I did say about four times that I wouldn't expect the death. Uh, but, uh, such a delayed com curse. I mean, Umu's a slow boss. I don't know. It's about as slow as Umu could have, or as quickly as Umu can kill someone. <laughs> oh, was that a, uh, no, it was a lantern. Uh, it was not an airwalk. Launch your poker, not an airwalk. About the same amount of time either way. Uh, well, while Slow gets back to where he was, Homothity is on his way to get Great Slash now. Um, uh, bu, bu, bu. There's a fun movement here, going through the Vine Gauntlet. I'm not sure what exactly it's called. Um, but yeah. Lots of neat little tech you can make do with. <laughs> so, something else that I wouldn't expect is a death anywhere in the rest of the race from Homothity. Uh, because that would just even it up and make the race too close for comfort. Uh, I definitely expect no deaths to Sibling Climb or uh, all the Hollow Knight whatsoever. Ooh. Uh, yeah, he goes, he goes for a, a dash to that platform, wants to reset his wings, but just barely misses the platform entirely. Doesn't have... <laughs> <laughs> doesn't doesn't have his uh, dash or wings to get out of that situation, but the one damage not going to make a huge difference as they quit out immediately after. There is absolutely no way Homothity could possibly die to Sibling Climb. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, two damage siblings not known for killing anybody. Um, especially not if they take a damage uh, on an Abyss Tentacle beforehand. Yeah. Uh, so Slow will have a second chance to actually show off this one cycle. Does get all four hits, does push him out of bounds, oh, uh, and he that. gets that one cycle. He just died for the extra content, ladies and gentlemen. Relax. Mm -hmm. Relax. <laughs> um... Oh, and showing off that wall cling storage. Beautiful. I didn't yeah. even see him get the initial wall cling storage, but does hop out of the acid. Um, yeah, I think does hop out of the acid with that wall cling storage and maintains it. Mm -hmm. Homothity cool. tried to get it, but uh, hit the edge of the platform before falling down. Slow, yeah. managing to fall right into the acid, and then, yeah, as Sabi said, hop with it from the acid. Oop, all right. But uh, we'll be seeing Hermothity gather up the Howling Wraiths uh, ability here. It will be the last base spell that they need. Uh, definitely good to acquire it along the way to Hera's Beast Den, as it will put you halfway towards that direction, and it means that you'll have that spell later for when you go into the Abyss and collect the Shade Cloak, making the Abyss a single trip in this category. Definitely wow. an interesting squid arena from Amothity. I do wonder if he regularly goes for that or if that was some improvisation after an early mistake. Either way. Really quick. Yeah, it doesn't take any damage, doesn't lose much time. Yeah, I don't know. It looked like there was some extra squits there earlier. I don't know if he baited some in and didn't kill him with the sea dash or something, but it was definitely very interesting. Now, runners about three minutes apart. Even a death from Homothity 
Uh, it would require a death like towards the end of Beast Ten. Uh, yeah. In order to even make this somewhat close, a death even at sibling climb. But there's at, no, uh... there's no way Hamathi could die to a devout. Absolutely none. I mean, especially leaving here on five HP and full soul, it's pretty safe. Yeah. It is. Um, <laughs> what I'd like to see from Hamathi with this kind of lead, if he is indeed watching the race, is an underplat on the is an underplat on the uh oh, the thorn warp. The hazard respawn. Yeah. Yeah, we've we've seen two underplats here, and honestly, if he wants to be real generous, he could go for the uh the deep oh. nest underplat and potentially lose his entire run. No underplat. Um, <laughs> people leave. <laughs> yeah, tragic. Um, if he doesn't go for that underplat, I wouldn't expect him to go for the deep nest one. If you fail the deep nest underplat, you have to crawl all the way back up through the distant village, uh, past what is her name? <laughs> she's she's a midwife. Past midwife through a massive dark room that most runners would not have memorized for any mm -hmm. reason. Hamathi yeah. actually might be familiar with it from randomizers. Now that I think about it, uh, maybe it's not a huge risk for him. I'm not sure why you'd ever need to go up there. I mean, there's a bunch of different rando goals and That's true. Thing true. rocks and stuff. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's like the midwife. Yeah. yeah. But Hamathi should be comfortable going through this entire room in the dark. Unlike any percent, because we have dive, we don't need lantern to enter sea peak, so it's simply faster to not get it and progress mm -hmm. through uh, this evil blackness with a uh, <laughs> with minimum with minimum lighting. Uh, pretty pretty. Uh, it's it's fairly safe. It's pretty safe to go through here once you know the rooms. Uh, what, one of the few dangers being that spider that can Ooh. give you some bad RNG, Ooh. and that. C-dashing a little bit low, he hits the spikes, decides to walk out of the room to reset it. Very smart. But yeah, yeah. starts the C-dash a bit too early, which smacks him against the wall, and then drops him into the spikes. Oh, and was he too high? Yeah, an unfortunate okay. mistake, start, yeah, starting it too soon like that. But gets it right okay. the second time around, no problems. I was almost certain that it was too late, but yeah, definitely wrong on that one. Um, right. He does make it here on 3 HP. Doesn't seem like he's in danger of dying 10 <laughs> Homothity, uh blaming Valley for the mistake there. In <laughs> chat. <laughs> Very well done. And does not die to live without. Very good. Yeah, interestingly, Shade Souls a little. S he just went back for four Geo when he already had two. Yeah, like he didn't. I guess he didn't get his no how much Geo yet. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Interesting oh. strategy. Um, but uh, in any case, two fifty is the number that you need to get out of Deep Nest via the Stag Station. And here's uh, Slow is leaving with at least four extra. At Aspen Arena. Doing a more standardized uh, strat, it seems. No aspens in the squid arena, but yeah. Uh, ooh! Yeah. <laughs> the, barely makes the wings back up there, but I believe that is uh, the most modern version of the squid arena. Uh, being able to fireball the last two squids while you're next to the right side of the arena so that you can exit at almost as soon as that gate opens. Mothity goes and gets one extra hit of soul, interestingly enough. Mm. I want... Hmm. Where would they use this soul? Um... Safety, maybe? Yeah, like, I guess if there's a bunch of, um... If they fall in the sibling climb... They can blast a huge amount of, uh, just a huge amount of siblings mm. and get them all out of the way at once. Or, I guess, a safety heal in case they accidentally fly into, fly into one of the abyss tentacles. Yeah, I mean, just poke with the sibling's forehead. <laughs> Easy. You got yeah. wings, just climb. <laughs> Do we get third under plat from slow here? That's the real question. Hard fall. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, no, he doesn't even get the warp. Unlucky. Taking an extra hit of damage here. Wouldn't be surprised if that leads to an extra heal later on. Being on 3 HP, 
can be a little scary going into deep nest. It's pretty easy to take one or two damage. And then being on two HP is right in the kill zone of the final devout. No swag strap from Hamadity. Understandable. Ooh. Um. Interesting. Uh, Abyss fall there. Uh, it seemed that he just ended his inventory drop a little. Yeah, yeah, this is not what you want to see uh, from slow here. Yeah, just taking a fall there, putting him right in the right in the middle of all those aggroed mantises, but he does make it out of there. Not Doesn't the opt heal. for a heal at all. Wow. Very brave. Knows he's a little short on time with that death, whether or not he's watching the race. Oh, that's smart from a moth. He's going to the left and wingsing up to the uh, left wow. side of that platform. That I was mean, a good one. That's got to be random movement, right? There's no way that's practiced. <laughs> I don't see why not. Yeah, fair the siblings are random and... The siblings are random and both randomize their hand here. Mm -hmm. And now, Hamathi is going to be getting the second to last uh, skill in the game. Um, Shake Look, we're going to see a quit out here. It saves about 10 seconds loading, but I'm pretty sure it's actually slower RTA. It doesn't according, really matter, though. According to Palm, that's actually the standard uh, the standard optimal movement from a oh. there, the dash left. It does make sense. Dashing away from your objective, very rarely quick. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's definitely safer to, to go the other way, or at least it doesn't risk you missing that wall cling and falling, but he manages it just fine. Mm -hmm. Does collect the Shade Cloak, does quit out, return to full HP, doesn't have any soul, which is normal. Um, slow uh... gets the amount of Geo you'd want to have there. Amothity is now on his way to collect the final bill in the game, uh, Howling Wraiths. It's Abyss on the Shriek. other side. Yes, Abyss Shriek, sorry. It's on the other side of the Abyss, uh, opposed to where Shade Cloak was. We'll see him stop the C dash here and start charging either a dash slash or a great slash. I actually have not. That is a dash slash for him. I assume that's optimal. I, I couldn't figure out whether a great slash or a dash slash is better there, personally, but it looks like dash slash is the way. Mm -hmm. I think there, there's so many different strategies for that area. I don't think anyone knows exactly what's optimal. I think it just depends on what's uh, good for you. Um, I'm going to say that it's probably the dash slash, because it does have a bit of extra range there. I don't think the great slash would be much slower, but... Well, there, there, there's even more. There's even more strategies than that. There's like the slashing it and then killing it with the C dash. There's the cyclone slash strat. Huh. I think there's the other ones. I but... haven't seen those. Yeah. Quite interesting. Um, either way, killing that that first shadow creeper is very important. But we're seeing Hamathity do the abyss climb. Misses a little bit of a jump there. Should Still be fine. Good. We should be seeing the triple spike pogo here. Did he just wings directly up to that? With yeah, no he did. He did not that's dash. Crazy. That is crazy. A little mishap there, but that's all right. Yeah, <laughs> probably just a little off cycle on these crawlids after missing a first initial jump. Um, but slow is going to be entering the abyss, almost high fiving Hamathity on the way out, so to speak. Um, Hamathity will be on his way to the final boss, while Slow will be doing a swag strat to get into the abyss and then collecting the Shade Cloak and Shriek. Just as Hamathity is about to do so. Or just as Hamathity had already done, mm -hmm. I should say. And, uh... We are looking at, yeah, I believe... I don't I don't think we have any reason to n suspect Hamathity won't get a better time than his leaderboard time here. Um... Yeah, well, not his leaderboard time, but even his past races. It's looking like a 52, I think. 50. Yeah. No, I think it's a low. I think it's a mid 51. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right, it's possible. I mean, he shouldn't. He should know how to fight the uh, the Hollow Knight with the Shriek quickly. Low 51. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Um, shouldn't be a two minute fight. Yeah, uh, we. I, I guess we should mark that there is a uh, potential for a death. 
there's a lot of damage tanking done if the Hollow Knight gives rude RNG. You want the Hollow Knight to stand still and absorb all the Shriek damage. It's such a long spell, but it deals so much DPS. Yeah. And if, if he decides to dash right as you start that Abyss Shriek, you are going to take a hit without any uh, ability to avoid it. So there is going to be some face taking involved uh very likely and that can lead to death if the runner is not careful but i would imagine mothity can handle this he gets both of those first shrieks almost all the full damage nice. didn't have quite enough soul yeah he's not having enough soul to deal with these parries the parry can't block the abyss shriek but if you don't have soul it will block you from getting a nail hit and finishing Ooh. it up that one shriek had no ticks to it maybe one tick Still very gonna pump it out a lot of damage here. Yeah, two shrieks run after the other, and a nice face tank there. That was that last. Yeah, that was whoa. Tried for oh three, man, didn't quite get it though. Oh boy. All right though, uh, yep. we're gonna be seeing a uh, fifty-one forty. It looks like. Yeah, from Homothity. As slow gets the final ability of the game. Unless he has an offline PB that he's just not submitted, this is definitely his fastest race time, and both of his ra race times are faster than his uh than his leaderboard time, so almost certainly a PB for him off. 51 44 63. Incredible time. Incredible. Mm-hmm. I'm going to swap the audio to slow here. Yep. So we can pay attention to him, and then we'll... Oh, you should mark him off that he's running, right? I, I think, isn't it like, uh, we do that after both no. players? No. Okay. If you just mark it as winner, then it'll automatically switch to the slow. Well, yeah, I know that. Yeah, so, typically you just mark as well, winner. I, I just thought it was a thing, now that we don't mark the players as done until they're both finished, so they don't come into comms too early. But I no, guess. They're, they're just supposed to know the not to come into comms. Yeah. Okay. He does, slow does take at least one damage to the spikes here. Um, does recover quite quickly. But... It's looking like a bit of an unfortunate climb, having to go some awkward ways, but does recover quite well, indeed. Yeah, He's pro we're probably going to see a bench at Dirt Mouth, which would be optimal. The other bench would be stopping the C-Dash on the way to the Hollow Knight. A third possibility is that he sees he has two hits of soul here. So he could just choose to heal once as the Hollow Knight is starting to scream. Again, with how face tanky that fight is. With how tanky that fight is, uh, or face tanky the fight is, going in on 4 HP can be very scary. A little RNG dependent as well. So I would like to see him bench here at Dirt Mouth. Yeah, just a bit quick dash to the left. Nope. Does not go for it. So, if that's the case, I do reckon he'll be healing once before the fight starts. Mm -hmm. And then saving one Shriek to start uh, the fight with a Shriek. Because that first Shriek is pretty much guaranteed 120 damage. Um, not a guarantee you can get in many other places in the fight. Yeah, it's a uh, very... Yeah, the start of fights are generally where you want to pump out your most damage. Uh burst them down and then will them afterwards but we'll see what slow does this room always is so nice all the white things popping up behind as you fly through anyway here we are at hollow knight the final boss only recently i learned that dashing between these changes is very unoptimal um or not very enough. Well, it's just it'll it would lose just yeah, and uh, that heal as I expected. Mm -hmm. It's faster to make sure that your hits are lined up without the dashes, because the entire time you're dashing, you're not able to swing your nail. And if you do it right, you can swing your nail almost the entire time. And yeah, he just takes damage right at the start, so he's already on three HP. Yeah. It kind of looks like after that rough sanctum, slow just kind of lost his groove. I wouldn't say so. You only lost 8 seconds to Amothity on most of the splits that came immediately after. I would say that... Oh boy. Yeah, already on 1 HP and... 
Okay, he he'll sh he should heal here, surely. Yeah, just make sure he doesn't die on this third or fourth phase. The race is already over. Slow again, even if he's not watching, I would expect that he n knows that. Ah, uh, yeah, getting this early control on that last screen is can be a little frustrating. All skills just quite often. Uh, the Hollow Knight will die before that. I... Yeah, good game for sure. The Rodgers finished... We're, we're, I guess the timers must have been a little bit different, right? Uh, I wasn't paying too much attention, but... The timers surely must have been a bit different. It doesn't feel like it's been three minutes since the Mothetti finished. But uh, perhaps I'm wrong. Um, yeah, no, I think it's three minutes sounds about right, because you're not including load normalizers. Lo like, loadless. Anyway, uh, slow finishing three minutes from his PB is still very good. Uh, I'm, did you mark a... No, I have not, sorry. I'll mark slow is done, all good. Thank you. Hello, Homothity. Congratulations on your win. Hello. Yeah. And we were curious, was that a personal best from you? Because it definitely beats your last race times and your leaderboard time. It, it is. Um, I have PB'd since the race, actually, today, when I PB'd by 0.6 seconds with a 52.08. Uh, <laughs> so this is a real PB. Nice. Excellent. Congratulations. Yeah, nice yeah, run. Really, really solid run from you. Uh, and slow. How are you feeling about the race in general? Eh, wasn't the best. It's all right though. <sighs> yeah, I do believe that your previous races were. Uh, I don't think there were any unintentional deaths in your previous races. Could be wrong. Uh, the last one I, I died twice. But other than that, I'm pretty sure no. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but some really good RNG throughout the run. Well, slow. Unfortunately, you got some pretty bad RNG with. Soul yeah, <laughs> that was like the worst Soulmaster RNG I've ever had. Mm -hmm. It was terrible. It was horrific. It was so unfortunate. <laughs> that was definitely the tipping point of the race. Do you? Yeah, did you I, feel... I, I was oh, actually yeah. I, I was actually going to say that Soulmaster was the first part of the race where I actually felt good about anything that happened. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I, I was. I, 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 felt... I don't know if, okay. if if you know, but I I kicked this off with like a seven spit balder into a yeah a, a, a solid. Visible. Nice. Green Beth, so I I, yeah, I, was... I was like 20 seconds behind where I wanted to be all the way through there. Oh, yeah. Good. It seems right up until Sanctum, you both were so even. In fact, in sync in some parts of the race. Uh, oh, really? Unfortunately, wow. from that point, Homothity did take the lead and refused to give it up. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But it Greedy was still... with the lead. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Amati. <laughs> let, let's slow up the lead. It's... <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was definitely the downhill point for me in Sanctum. Mm -hmm. uh, do, did you feel like your gameplay had worsened at all after that, or if you were still pretty much playing at your best until perhaps your death at uh... mm -hmm. Uma? I don't think I was playing as well as I did before Sanctum. I, yeah. think I, I got pretty tilted. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's reasonable. It was... It was... I was talking all about soul management and stuff, and whether or not you'd yeah. be able to get the quick kill, and then he just gives you the RNG that doesn't allow for it, and I'm like, wow, well, yeah, so totally. none of that mattered. Um, <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, we're, we're Hamadri, I, I, I know that you were at least looking in chat. Uh, were you watching the race at all and keeping track? I did not, did not really start looking at the race until... Yeah, really about after Umu or so. So I, I actually didn't even even see uh, Slow's death. Oh, I see. So, okay. yeah, I don't I don't like to follow the race too closely early on because that just yeah. causes you know, unnecessary yeah, totally. stress if you're you know trying to figure out who has the two second lead in Green Path or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could we ask the... uh, what Valigna did to distract you and what you messed up with that? Oh, he was talking about eating midwife for breakfast or something. Like, what? <laughs> what? You know, I I'm I'm sure Vali knows. 
And <laughs> I don't have to make myself clear because it's obviously not my fault that I fell on the spikes because I wasn't looking at the screen. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> got it, got it. Um, <laughs> Is there anything uh, in particular in this race that you're, uh, well, I mean, in your PB, is there anything that you think would be, oh, your, um, your wing split. I'm curious how close to gold that was. You know, it was me, uh, pretty solid. Now, now that we're I'll... done, let me actually mm -hmm. open up my uh, layout so I can see my splits. Yeah, that wing okay. split was incredibly clean. All right. Um, whoops. Yeah, so I did gold uh, quite a few splits on this run. Nice. Nice. Um, nice. Wings, however, was not a gold. I, I actually lost 0.5 seconds on my PB. Mm. Yeah, um, probably due to the basin skip, right? Yeah, I missed it twice. Uh, so that was yeah. really unfortunate. I did lose 17 seconds on Mothwing Cloak. So it was yeah. <laughs> about as horrible as I <laughs> Yeah, the, the really good stuff was dive which was a huge time save mm. isma because i've been really bad at getting the skips a great slash because i finally got one cycle yeah that's pretty much the big nice. ones nice. nice uh that would be one cycle on those uh durandus right or durandos uh, no i'm i have umu in that so oh you have umu oh, in okay. your yeah I, I don't have many splits oh okay yeah. all right but um, yeah, that that's really the big thing because my last couple of BBs had two cycles in them, so uh, I, I had quite a bit of time save saved up up until then. Nice, nice. Yeah, really great run. Feel I feel a little out of place criticizing, but I have to ask <laughs> when it comes to when it comes to getting nail art early control into the wells. Are there some you just choose not to go for, or you forgot, or you just haven't learned because boomer strats? Um, so I, I failed the first one with Dash Slash. Um, mm -hmm. I don't like the second one because I prefer to go for, um, you know, a consistency dash that won't get knocked out by the, uh... uh mm. Oh, yeah. Ventilate. If you, if, so if you Cyclone Slash, you have a chance of getting hit by the Ventilate? No, the Crawled, or whatever oh. it is. The Cyclone Slash effect- oh, oh, um, because if you, yeah, if you C Dash... Good. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't move before you see dash, you don't get knocked out. So, oh. Interesting. That's crazy. Yeah, that I... is the reason for it. But I, oh. I'm sure that the cyclone is faster and so I should learn it. Yeah, but it would also be increased RNG. So that's actually very interesting. I'm glad yeah. I asked about that. Notably um, I had quite a bit of bad luck with um getting knocked out of C dashes. Um, oh yeah. Oh really? We did it. We <laughs> the um, the one in Kingdom Sedge, which doesn't save time, of course, and then <laughs> in King's Pass too. You know, that was really sad. Yeah, the King's Pass one. We were debating whether or not that was the glitch hitting you out of it, or if it was just the Crawled was too close and hit you right as you got the C dash off. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, but I think that if it hadn't have been the glitch, um, the Crawled would have died either way even if it did hit me, because the hitbox should have. Mm, yeah. Because yeah, the, the sound effect showed that yeah. it started, so I think the that was a glitch, but mm. who knows? Yeah, hard to tell when it's right on that frame. Uh, what about you, Slow? Anything in particular you were proud of in this race? Um, I got the shake flip by a second. That's pretty much it. Nice. I got the RNG CDOS out of archives twice, which is... <laughs> cool <laughs> i think outside but... of the exit from between king's pass and the entrance to sea peaks i think your sea heart and d-dark splits are both really good yeah except for the, the end of d-dark was bad because i got hit in the spikes on that pogo but otherwise oh, yeah, it was pretty right. good yeah definitely going for the risky strat there i didn't did, did homothity go for the uh Go for that spike pogo on the way up to D Dark, uh, the actual D Dark room. The first spike pogo. Which one? You mean the one next to the Crystal Hunter? Yeah. I yeah. Think, yeah. I don't think I skipped any anything. Okay. Okay. Um. Anyway, I think that that was a. Uh, I think that was a fairly good race from both of you. Would have been. 
It would have been cool if it was closer, but um, with a yeah. with a PB of a fifty one forty eight, would have been would have been a tall order, I think. Yeah, oh, definitely. definitely a good run. Yeah, definitely expecting to see a fifty one out of slow soon after that uh that last PB. <laughs> yeah, I need to get a fifty one. Good luck. happen before the tourney ends. Yeah. yeah, I think you've gone all the way from a 56 to a low 52 uh, over the course of this tournament. Is that right, Slow? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Very impressive. Really, really impressive, yeah. yeah. So, congratulations yeah. to both racers. Uh, congrats to the win yeah. and the PB at Amatari. GG, definitely. GG. Any, anything the racers would like to sign out with? No, no I'm all good. I think that's a good time to end it then. All Thank right. you everyone for joining. All right. Oh, Thank cool. you too for uh